Welcome to Real Reviews, I'm Chase Lee and I'm here to review The Place Beyond the Pines. Oh yeah, it's a pretty cool looking poster. So I saw this movie on Monday night and there was also a Q&A with director Derek Seamfronts and he got to talk a little bit about the movie and he met up with uh, some people afterwards. I got to shake his hand and talk to him and tell him that he was just, he was just a badass filmmaker. Um, so let's dive into the movie review. The directing. Derek Seinfranz, who previously directed Blue Valentine back in 2010, directs this this, this drama. Uh, it's really hard to explain this movie because there's just a lot to it and I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. But Derek directs this, this beautiful and haunting movie about fathers and their relationships with their sons and I think it's the most accurate portrayal I've ever seen of you know father and son relationships and I give him real, real big props on that. But he directs a very, very powerful, emotional, haunting movie that will leave you speechless. Because it left me and my friend speechless, and we, we couldn't say anything for about a couple minutes. It was, it was that awesome. Let's get into the acting. The acting is top-notch in this movie. Ryan Gosling kills it once again. Uh, I say once again because Derek Seafrons worked with him in Blue Valentine. But the number one person that stuck out with me the most is Bradley Cooper. He actually shot this before Silver Linings, and let me tell you, this guy's got some acting chops, and I really appreciate him for doing this role and uh, pushing his boundaries and uh, just doing something different. Uh, the cinematography, let's get into that. The cinematography is, is gorgeous. There is some shots in this that blew my mind, and it, it, it just it captured it very, very well. And I think this is the number one movie that actually shows Handycam as a good option to use. There's one, uh, one scene that uses Handycam and it's used so effectively and it keeps you to the edge of your seat and just keeps you wanting more and it's, it's a very, very good shot and uh, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it, uh, but the cinematography is great. Uh, the editing. The editing uh, for a two and a half hour long movie, this movie is paced quite well. I'm very surprised at how well it is paced, because uh, let me tell you, it, it it never slows down, like you're always enthralled and always ready for the, the next thing to happen, and overall, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. This movie is the best movie of the year so far, hands down, and I'm going to predict this right now. This movie will be top three, if not the best movie of the year, and it will be nominated for Oscars. I can guarantee you that. Derek Seinfranz, you are a great director, my man. He directed a, a powerful, daunting film that you will want to see over and over again. And it, it sticks with you, trust me. I recommend this to everyone and anyone highly. If you want to see Blue Valentine, his previous work, that's also on Netflix. And that is my inst instant play recommendation for this episode. So, The Place Beyond the Pines, great movie. Had a great time talking with the director. It was a powerful film. I, I just loved it. Best movie of the year so far. Best movie of the year, probably period. <laughs> I'm gonna go and call it right now. So I don't know. I'm just I'm still speechless because I'm still thinking about it. But that's uh, this week's episode. Uh, comment below and let me know if you want to see this movie. And uh, thanks for watching Real Reviews. I'm Chase Lee, and tune in next time for whatever I review next. See you guys later.